Shootings on Juneteenth weekend left at least 12 dead and nearly 100 injured. There were several mass shootings, and when the police arrived, in some cases, people just got on top of the ambulance and started twerking. You know, at first, I was a little bit sad I didn't get invited to the cookout, but maybe it's a good thing. I will be posting plenty of videos from Juneteenth, some of those mass shootings, some of that twerking, throwing it back, so make sure you follow me on Telegram. All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is the brother Shaquat Raka coming from the prophets in Babylon camp. That's out here in Tampa, Florida. And before we move on further with this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rachakadash, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. Which is true name in the Paleo Hebrew means he is and he exists. And Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, which is true name in the Paleo Hebrew means he saves and he delivers. And I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and bishops, a great millstone who teaches the truth and rules well. And today I just want to touch up on, you know, these mass shootings you know, that's been going on, you know, across the U.S., you know, during this, this Juneteenth event, you know, based off that video you just seen. But I also want to, you know, get into this article. You know, we're going to get into this article and we're going to get into any scripts. And Yahweh right this, I pray this lesson be edifying. But this is from CBSnews.com. It says, shootings on Juneteenth weekend leave at least 12 dead, more than 100 injured. So con, it says mass shootings in communities across the U.S. have killed at least 12 people since Friday and injured more than 100. CBS Chicago's Charlie Demore reported the shootings follow a rise in homicides and other violence over the past several years that experts say accelerated during the coronavirus pandemic. Shootings with multiple people killed or wounded happened in suburban Chicago, Washington State, Central Pennsylvania, St. Louis, Idaho, Southern California, and Baltimore, among other places. And if you don't know what that Juneteenth is, which I'm going to show you the um, the original. It says the origins of Juneteenth date back to June 19th in 1865, when General Madge, General Gordon Granger, a U.S. Army officer and Union general during the Civil War issued an order in Galveston, Texas, announcing that all slaves were free under emancipation proclamation proclamation and you know back in um you know during the c19 you know that pandemic you know back in 2020 you know if some of you guys are familiar with it um you know you had the event that you had the situation with george floyd where that cop you know had his knee on his neck and george floyd you know he perished or whatever and, you know, Jake, you know, around that time, the whole world was on lockdown. And, you know, Jake was out there protesting in that fight for your right spirit. <laughs> and that black culture spirit. And then, you know, uh, on the Internet, you know, everybody was saying, you know, Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. But really, it's that um that so-called black culture. They were saying they need their own holiday, man. You know, basically to celebrate the, the oppression, man, that, you know, you got Esau, Edom, these damn other nations, you know, the oppression they put on us, man, the, the shit we go through. They're basically saying we need a, we need a celebration and our captivity, man. <laughs> you know, and then I believe June 19, 2021, you know, Joe Biden, you know, he became president, you know, 2020. In 2021, he gave y'all the holiday, man. He gave Jake that holiday, man. And, you know, around this time, June 19th, which, you know, today's date is June 22nd. Because when I first heard about these mass shootings, I thought it was only in Chicago. I didn't know it was in other states as well. Across the United States, they had got to do your research. And, you know, Jake, man, and you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, they in that spirit of mirth, man, you know. Trying to have a good time. The house of feasting, man. Trying to have a good time and partying bullshit 
And the, the Lord is amping up these spirits and executing judgment around this time to let y'all know what's up, man. Let y'all know what's going on, man. This ain't the time for that, man. You know, around this time, Jake wanted to have cookouts, get together. You know, poor Deuce. <laughs> Eve wanted to twerk on the damn... Twerk on the damn headlights. The dude said that um, there was, it was women twerking on top of the ambulance truck, man. Like, come on, man. Let's spirit these people in, man. But um, let's get more into this article, though. It says... Let's see if we should grab more than this. Yeah, that's it on that. This article is on cbsnews.com. You know, you can get into this on your own time. But um, let's get into these scripts, though, man. You know, Jake liked to be in that damn mirth. But it says, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 2. I gotta get up out of here. It's wet. It says, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the, the end of all men. And the living will lay it to his heart. So, right, it's better to go to the house of mourning. You know, what's that house of mourning, man? You know, crying and signing out to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, to the Most High, man. You know, to destroy this place, man. You know, all the wickedness that goes on, all the abominations, you know, all the events and, and stuff that takes place, man. It, it's better to go to the house of mourning and to pray to the Lord, destroy this place, man. But it says then to go to the house of feasting. And, you know, that's how, that's the spirit. Jake, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, they in that spirit, man. You got fucking Taco Tuesday. <laughs> you know, every week in this damn near a new fucking holiday, they cook, they trying to cook out, you know, throw some piggyback ribs on, piggyback ribs on the grill, baby back ribs on the grill and shit, man. You got, you got Eve, I like to say Keisha for Southern Kingdom. <laughs> like Twerk, shake their ass on headlights and shit, man. At the red light on top of cars and shit, man. This ain't the time for that, man. Especially the, the time we in right now, man. We damn near at the end, man. You got these other countries out here. You had 19, this was like a month ago. You had 19 countries that signed up to fight against the U.S. You got this, you got this, you got, you got Vladimir Putin. I like to call him Master P. <laughs> you got Master P, Vladimir Putin. He's ready to send these nukes right now. He's ready to burn this shit. You know, Jake like the <laughs> Jake like the barbecue. Jake in that house of mirth like the barbecue and anything. Vladimir Putin is ready to barbecue this bitch, man. You got Elon Musk talking about brain C hips. You got this US dollar about to crash, man. <laughs> you got Jake out here twerking on top of the damn ambulance truck, man. Cooking out. In that fight for your right spirit. Trying to get new holidays and shit, man. This ain't the time for that, man. And the Lord is showing you that. The Lord is executing judgments, amping up these spirits throughout these events, man. Because about two weeks ago, it was Memorial Weekend. And it's the same thing that happened. It was mass shootings in different countries, man. You had mass shootings everywhere. You had one, I think, in Pennsylvania. Out here in Florida. Somebody got shot at the beach, I believe. But you had mass shootings in different states, man. <laughs> this ain't the time to be trying to party and bullshit, which there's nothing wrong. You know, it's a balance. We in liberty. You know, it's nothing wrong with having a good time, going out to eat, you know, etc., man. But that's not where your mind should be focused at 24-7, man. But um, let's grab this real quick. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3. In verse 6, and it says, shall a, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord, Yahweh, hath not done it? So, right, shall, shall a trumpet be blown? Shall a trumpet be blown? Because right now, these people ain't afraid. You know, you got the um, you got the prophets out there. You got the true men of the Lord out there on the highways and hedges, the highways and byways, preaching and teaching his word and warning you of these things that's coming, man. These damn nuclear missiles, World War III, this M to the O to the T to the B. Warning you of these prophecies that's about to take place, man. These people are not afraid, man. You know, they walk past with a margarita in their hand, with they white, they white woman, they white wife, <laughs> either she the white wife, with their family. They in that family God spirit, man. <laughs> you know, taking their kids out. No, there's nothing wrong with that, but 
You know, they, they, people just want to have a good time. They want to prosper in this place, man. Trying to be rich. They're not afraid, man. They're just worried about having a good time 24-7. But it says, surely the Most High will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So you got a lot of people out here that don't know, you know, what's going on, man. You know, like the one brother, Tazamont, always goes into, you had the Georgia Godstones about a year ago. It got knocked down, which the Georgia Godstones was basically the whole strategy of what these, um, these damn elites are trying to do, man. You know, which one of the number one keys was, you know, um, depopulate the population, man, under five million. And I was watching this documentary. I was watching this documentary. I believe they built that monument in um, the 70s. You know, the dude that um, somebody came with a blueprint, came with like $70,000, $70, I believe, or more than that, or whatever. They don't even know who was behind it, which we know the elites was behind it. But that thing was built up since like the 1970s, I believe. And they just knocked it down last year. <laughs> and you got a lot of people that don't even know what the Georgia Godstones are. <laughs> you got a lot of people that don't know what the Georgia Godstones are, man. All they know is, you know, what flavor um, popsicle they got in the freezer. <laughs> you know, what's the next pair of drop of Jordans that's coming out next week? You know, where the hoes at? <laughs> you know, you know, when Lil Baby dropping another album? That's what people's minds is focused at, man. You know, what's the move tonight, man? Who's going to be at the club tonight, man? You know, hey, who throwing the cookout in, who throwing the cookout for Juneteenth? I want a baby back rib. That's what people, that's people who's focused on, man. But you got people that don't know, what's, that they really don't know what's going on, man. But, you know, us as here, you know, Akion, Aqua, brethren, Lord blessed us, man. To be able to understand these scriptures, to understand what's going on, man, to measure the times diligently, man. Lord blessed us with that, man, to know what's going on, man. But um, let's grab this real quick, though, man, because you know, the Lord ain't playing, man. The Lord ain't playing, man. You see the time, you see these different events taking place, man. And like I was saying, man, the same thing happened on Memorial Day weekend, man. <laughs> You know, I believe Memorial Day, yeah, Memorial Day weekend. It was on a Sunday. I, mean, I was um I was riding around. You know, I was trying to go to my bank to you know take care of something. And I was wondering why the bank so closed early. I'm like, oh, it's Memorial Day. That's why the bank is closed at like three o'clock. My, you know, the bank don't even close the five. <laughs> you know. Then I was going to work the next day, and the article popped up on news break. You know. It was mass shootings in different states, man. It's crazy, man. But this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Right. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. Lord, the Lord sanctioned this all this to happen, man. He's trying to show y'all people something, man. This is not the time to be partying bullshit in 24-7, man. You know, we in Liberty right now. You know, you could door dash food to your doorstep. <laughs> you could go out and get a margarita here and there. You could go home to your king size bed with a 70 inch flat screen TV watching a football game on Sunday. You know, we in Liberty right now. Why you got the Liberty? You should be trying to understand, you know, who our true power is, who your enemy is, you know, what's going on, man. Try and get as much wisdom and knowledge as you can, man. This place is done with, man. This place is done with, man. These other countries getting ready for war to burn this shit up. Elon Musk talking about brain sea hips. He got the approval. He got approval from the narrow link from the F the Food and Drug Administration, man. You got this U.S. dollar is about to, they're trying to crash this U.S. dollar. These banks are crashing. These banks are collapsing, man. And Jake out here trying to worry about where to cook out at. For Juneteenth. Get out of here, man. But <laughs> our Lord do all these things, man. So you see all these mass shootings, people getting shot up, injured. There was a lot of people wounded. It's at least 12 people dead and 100 injured altogether through those mass shootings, man. The Lord sanctioned that, man. Trying to show y'all, it's not the time for that, man. 
And, you know, of course, you know, it's 12 people that died. You got people like, damn, you know, man, you know, I was, damn, that was my, you know, that was my boy, man. That was my bro, man. He, he deserved that, man. You know, she was a sweet, kind, hard, loving soul, man. Nah, man, Lord took their ass out, man. <laughs> y'all worry, y'all celebrating June, y'all celebrating Juneteenth, man. <laughs> y'all celebrating something the devil gave, the devil gave y'all that holiday. <laughs> like scripture says, you know, a gift destroyed the heart, man. The devil gave y'all that holiday, man. But let's grab this real quick. You know, to pack up this precept. You know, it's a classic, man. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 39. It says, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. So this is our Lord making a statement. Check it out. It says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that could deliver out of my hand. So Lord is in control of all these things, man. Somebody gets jacked up. Somebody gets shot up. Them people that got wounded, them people that's in the spiritual realm right now, the Lord sinks at that, man. You know, like I was trying to, you know, I was saying earlier, you know, somebody perishes or somebody gets jacked up. Like, oh, I didn't deserve that. No, that was my, that was my baby boy. You know how them grannies be on the damn Channel 9 news. <laughs> that was my baby boy. That was Satan. Yeah, it was. But, you know, Satan works on the left hand of the Most High, man. The Most High sanctioned it, man. <laughs> it says, neither is, that, neither is there any that can live out of my hand. So all those people that was twerking on top of the ambulance trucks, throwing it back. All those people that was cooking out, throwing baby back ribs. I bet you was a lot of abomination on that damn grill. <laughs> you know, all those glizzies. You know, that's an inside joke. All those damn hot dogs and them baby back ribs. I was thrown on that grill. All the deuce and cognac and henny. <laughs> the Lord took their ass out, man. They thought it was going to be an ordinary day. A cookout celebrate Juneteenth. The devil gave you all that holiday mind. Y'all are still slaves, man. That's what Jake don't understand. We're still slaves. We're still in our captivity, man. This is not our rest. This is not our rest, man. Micah 2 and 10, man. Arise ye and depart. This is not your This is not our rest, man. You know? But let's grab this real quick. I'm going to close it out. I don't want to make this too long. But, um, it's mad wet out here. But, um, it's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, starting in verse 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, man. So, you see the times we in right now, the, 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 the events, the, the prophecies that's taking place, man. You're supposed to be watching what's going on, man. Understanding that, you know, Esau, even the self-proclaimed white man is your enemy. These other nations are your enemy. Understanding, you know, you're an Israelite, man. You're a special kind of people to the Lord, man. Understanding who your true power is, man. This is the time you're supposed to be understanding what's going on, man. You know, watching out for these prophecies, man, while we in liberty. But it says... Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Days are evil, man. It's not going, you know, they got this damn slogan, you know, build America, make America great again, man. This place not going to get back better, man. This place not going to be great again, man, which it was never great in my opinion. <laughs> but this place not going to get back better, man. You know, these other, these other countries are ready to, Vladimir Putin not playing. He's ready to send these nukes, these ICMBM nuclear missiles over here, man. He's not playing. He's not playing. He's ready to push that button right now as we speak, man. One wrong move, he's pushing that button. But it's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahusha. You know? But redeeming the time, though, man. So while we got liberty, man. Should be redeeming the time and getting as much wisdom and knowledge as you can, man. Understanding these scriptures, understanding how about Shimmy Shah, man. Understanding who your true power is, man. Because you know the scripture says, you know, wisdom and knowledge should be a stability at that times. So you know, when this damn M O M to the O to T to the B C hip is implemented, and mandatory for everyone to take it, man. You want to be stable throughout that times, man. You want to be stable throughout those times when it's all our hell breaking loose, when there's no food, famine. 
What's going to keep you stable, man? Not stocking up food, stocking up on guns, stocking up on resources, man. Getting this wisdom and knowledge, man. This is what's going to keep you stable in them times, man. So we're deeming the times to time while we got liberty. Getting as much wisdom and knowledge as you can, man. You know? It's not the time to be cooking out, throwing baby back ribs on the grill and twerking on down, twerking on top of ambulance trucks and shit, man. Come on. <laughs> But I didn't want to make this lesson too long. You know, we're going to wrap it up. You know, pretty much at the point there. You know. But your how right desire. I pray this lesson be edifying to you. You know, if this lesson be edifying to you, it will be edifying to the hopeful elect. And once again, before we close out, I want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechakadash. And once again, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and bishops, a great millstone who teaches this truth and ruleth well. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, DTA, Ababa soon.